Welcome back to Spokane Talks Live. And uh, one of my friends here. Hello. Tom Shrum. That's right. All right. Not Tom Thumb. I used to tease you a Close. lot about that. I've been pretty good recently, <laughs> and, I, and I don't make too many. And here it is back again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to we're going to talk about antitrust and licensing. And I got a kick out of seeing the note you sent about the NFL. And yeah. I'm guessing that you're talking about licensing of merchandise and and everything else. Now, wasn't there an incident recently at WSU selling some product that oh, wasn't yeah. licensed properly? So it, it's it's a common thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, and it and it comes up a lot and. The interesting part of, of this particular case, which was, it's this one case, and it's American Needle versus the NFL. And so it's it's an interesting thing to think about. Everybody's going to be watching a bunch of NFL coming up, you know, with Thanksgiving. Yes. At least that's what I do. Yes. <laughs> and um, the, w- the way it comes into antitrust is, is are all of the teams – separate entities or is the NFL one league? Ah, okay. So if they're separate entities, then they can't collude. They can't get together and and okay, come up I hadn't with thought a deal. about that. Yeah. yeah. But if it's just the NFL, okay. They can they can make exclusive deals. So what is it? Well, the Supreme Court says it's they're separate entities. But because we didn't get There's all, always a but. But because it didn't go all the way through litigation, didn't get to the end because they settled. We don't really know what the answer is as far as exclusive licenses. <laughs> it's a it's a weird and yeah. it's a fun one because it it exposes fun money he says yeah well it's fun billable money. hours but, <laughs> yeah I know but it's a it's an interesting issue because it kind of exposes all the different pieces of yeah. why why litigation is hard and why like what is the law is hard it's a hard question to answer okay so, so it's, now it's going to the supreme court has been it's fin- already been at the it was at okay. the supreme court in 2010 so this okay. so part of the thing i want to express is like how long these cases take yeah so in the year 2000 oh lord in the year 2000 all the nfl teams they got together you were still in junior high weren't you yes okay <laughs> No, I was in high school. I had made it in high school. <laughs> I'd made the football team. <laughs> I was joking, but yeah. yeah. But the uh, so these all the teams got together and yeah. they said, okay, well, we want to have one person that's going to sell all of our merchandise. We okay. want to have just Reebok is going to sell all of uh, our merchandise. Okay. okay. American Needle sells hats, and they said, oh, well, we still want to sell these hats. So they did, they waited until 2004. They filed a lawsuit takes until 2010 to get to the Supreme Court. <laughs> okay. So by the time it gets to the Supreme Court, the 10-year deal that exclusive license with Reebok was up. Oh. <laughs> so it's this is part of the problem. They don't move this along like they did the 2000 election of Gore Bush where no. they do it in a couple of days, where right? They snap, snap. Y- yeah. So this is and this is something so put it in this context. This is really important stuff that has a lot yeah. of impact, and everybody knows. We're talking these, big money and big money, and this is how long it takes. So people, when people come into the legal system, they're always shocked by how long it takes. Yeah. Why does it take this long? It it takes a long time for everybody. Right. It's not because I don't like you that I'm making this take a long time. Right. right. No, it's not. <laughs> this is just how it, how long it takes. Right. So it goes all the way up to the Supreme Court in 2010. It doesn't get resolved until 2015. <laughs> they go back and forth with motions and all yeah. of this until 2015, and then it settles. So because it settles, we don't know how much money American Needle got paid. We don't know what they agreed to. We don't, and they st- there still is an exclusive license for certain other companies, and American Needle is not one of them. <laughs> okay. So even though the Supreme Court said you guys can't get together and decide – who you're going to have an exclusive license with, they're still doing it. That and that is that's a hard. And this is why you guys charge so much an hour. Well, you know, we yeah. got there's a lot of moving parts. To no figure kidding, out. no kidding. And the even there's another even more interesting little wrinkle. Oh, with I'm it. afraid to ask. MLB has an antitrust exemption. Oh, why? Because in 1922 they said it was didn't have to do with interstate commerce. In 1953, they said, well, we're going to rely on that old decision. In 1978, 
they said they said um we're still going to rely on that decision in 1998 they enacted a law that says well you can't you don't have an antitrust exemption for employment issues but for these things we're talking about yeah exclusive licenses of trademarks they still have an antitrust exemption <laughs> So this is why the NFL wanted to take it up to the Supreme Court. Ah, okay. Because they want to say, oh, maybe we can get one of those. Right. And that would be, gr- that would be great for and our then business. They, then they settle. Yeah. And then they settle, so we don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's a, and, and you love doing this, don't you? I do. It, yeah, it, yeah. You can see I get a little like, yeah, yeah. into it because okay. it's, uh, there's so many moving pieces. Would someone call Eastern State Hospital? I think we have a candidate here. <laughs> It's crazy, though. I mean, yeah. it really is. And, 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 and what, what? And this is. And so we're trying to answer the question: Is it legal for the NFL to pick one company to sell baseball right, caps? Right. And we don't know that. We don't know. Okay. It's a. It seems like a simple question. It's. There's so many moving pieces. You gotta. Get, you gotta get in there and and muck around. So. Right. Okay. Well. If you come back next week, you'll have solved this, right? Oh, of course. Oh, okay, good, good. Tom Schramm from McNeese Wheeler. Yep. What's the phone number and website? So 509-928-4141. Okay. And then the website is McNeeswheeler, 